After 60 hours, I finished RDR 2. It was an incredible game for me, one that I wish I hadn't finished. For years, I approached it with prejudice, but finally giving it a chance, it turned out to be an amazing game. They really nailed it. In this video, I'll evaluate the game, and there won't be any spoilers. In the first few hours of the game, I said, is this really RDR 2? However, as the game progressed, I found myself unable to comprehend how time flew by. I embraced Arthur, and I felt like I became part of the gang, almost like a family. There are so many things to do within the game that it sometimes becomes overwhelming to grasp it all. When asked what to expect from a game, I could confidently say something like RDR 2. The ability to interact with everyone in the open world, engage in conversations, it's truly a revolutionary aspect in the gaming world. There are moments where we engage in conversations, spend time with gang members. Sometimes we celebrate with our gang, sitting together and singing songs. All these interactions feel very organic. It's as if they are activities carried out by a real community, and I feel like I'm right there. When I was just <laughs> lad, you know, I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes too. Let me ride on the ring dang do. Now the ring dang do. Now what, what is that? that? It's soft, soft and round like a pussy cat. cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. That's, That's what, what you call the ring dang do. do. Said that it was a mighty fine thing. Fed me wine and whiskey too. Let me round the ring, ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. That's, That's what you call the ring dang do. Not only that, of course. The game doesn't solely revolve around Arthur. The disputes among gang members, the fights and arguments when we visit any village, they're all there street gangs of kids and much more. And RDR2 doesn't force any of these upon us. Most of these are random events we stumble upon while wandering around. You can choose to get involved in the events or simply walk away without a care. Look at them fine steeples! Hey, hey, you little pair of shits! Let's go! That fellow looks angry! Bastard. I was just playing. Give me my things back. Get off me, mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. Here. While playing the game, sometimes it's hard to believe whether it's real or not. Moreover, despite the years since its release, it feels like a game from 10 years ahead of our time. The game world is truly incredible. Just riding a horse alone could take hours. The magnificence of the scenery really surprises you. Let me mention one more detail. In the game, our hair and beard grow over time. It might not seem important to players, but I think it adds a nice touch of realism. After cutting our hair and beard, we have to wait for them to grow back to their previous state. I think it's a really nice detail. Speaking of another detail, in the game, we have our own horse or horses. Spending time with our horse strengthens our bond. As our bond with our horse increases, our trust also rises. However, if our horse gets shot or falls from a high place and we don't have medicine, our horse dies. I really think this is also a nice detail. The missions in the game are truly well crafted and it's evident that a lot of effort has been put into each one. There are no missions added just for the sake of it. Sometimes we try to rescue our kidnapped friends, sometimes we try to rob a casino pretending to be a gambler, and even a mission where we get drunk at a bar with our friend. There are many varied missions. In my opinion, there wasn't a single mission that felt nonsensical in the game. Each one was meticulously crafted and had a logical reason within the main story. Every mission had beautiful cinematics. Because of this, it's hard for a player to put the game down.
you. Leave the kid alone, you goddamn animals. Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. Now, let's go back to the beginning. Is RDR2 a slow game? Like I mentioned at the start, the first few hours of the game may feel slow, but is that a problem? I don't think so. I believe the slow start of the game better conveys the story and characters to the player. The game picks up a certain pace after a few hours. Of course, some players might not want to play the game because of the slow-paced sections. That's a very normal situation. Now, why did I play this game so late? I played it late because of the inadequacy of my computer in the early years, and then because of the prejudice I had against the game. It really upset me to play this game so late, but at least I feel lucky that I finished the game without getting spoiled earlier. If you haven't played the game yet, I recommend playing it without getting spoiled. Thank you for watching so far. You can share your thoughts in the comments section. You can also suggest which game you want me to review next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Take care of yourself.